This is the Taylor Hobson Single Axis High Precision Digital Clinometer. It is handheld using this integral handle of aluminium box frame construction enabling measurements on all four edges. It has a colour screen and is controlled using these simple buttons. The high precision clinometer has a single axis range of plus or minus 60 degrees. The accuracy over the central plus or minus 5 degrees is 10 seconds and an accuracy of 1 minute over the full plus or minus 60 degrees. The dimensions are 140 millimeters by 140 millimeters by 45 millimeters and it weighs 1.2 kilograms. It runs from two 1.5 volt AA batteries, which can either be alkaline or rechargeable using an external charger. On the side is also a four pin connector, which is compatible with USB connection. This enables data to be output for external monitoring. On two of the sides, are powerful magnets for extra stability on both horizontal and vertical surfaces. Let's look at the simple controls. There is an on off button. There is an up and down and enter cursor for sub menu control and you can bring a sub menu up. The ability to zero the current position allows a local datum to be set or pressing it again will go back to absolute measurement. A useful facility is also to hold the current position so that this can be put in an awkward position, brought back and read. The first menu option is save. If we press enter we can delete the existing data, we can then go back and decide to save single points. Now on this menu, whenever we press enter, the current y-axis position will be monitored and saved. This can then be stored locally and read back at a later date. The set menu has a series of sub menus. The first one being the ability to automatically power off after 10 minutes or leave on continuously. The calibrate allows you to adjust the instrument for gravity using a reversal technique. The latitude of the position on the globe can be entered to compensate for differing magnetic forces. The time and date can be entered after a new battery has been inserted. We can return to factory default conditions and adjust the linearity of the gauge at a future date using a high precision small angle generator. The mode option allows you to change the units of display between gradient in millimetres per metre in degrees decimal with four decimal places or degrees, minutes and seconds. The final option is exit to remove the menu options.